thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. At the moment, every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own Ray project. But I promise you that they will not succeed. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of Ray. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order, and we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. I have a daughter, and it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the Army's Rex, it can cruise deep underwater, move in undetected and make its landing on any shoreline. Its onboard Joint Tactical Information Distribution System identifies targets with unerring accuracy, and takes them out with massive firepower. It is the ultimate weapon, and it is yours to guard. I'd like you all to think about what that means. The brain drain of nuclear specialists and the black market trade of weapons grade plutonium has been fueling a cottage industry in nuclear weapons since late last century. Add Metal Gear to the mix, and the result is the renewed proliferation you see the world over. once lived in the shadow of the Doomsday Machine. This Metal Gear Ray can bring other Metal Gears under control and ensure that we never know that fear again. We, the Marines, will be the guardians of this peace. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. I seem to be repeating myself. Chalk it up to old age. The Metal Gear Rex development on Shadow Moses was supposedly the first preparatory measure taken against the future possibility of reduced nuclear defense capability. NMD technology leaked to other nations would make that contingency likely. But if this theory is correct, it means that there was a calculated intent to cash in on this opportunity by specific interests within the military-industrial complex. We are here today to flush out and rid our country of these corrupting forces. That is our mission. You will bear that in mind. This Metal Gear Ray is a prototype designed to be operated by an onboard pilot. In its final form, Ray will be unmanned, driven by tele-existence and an autonomous control system. 
The importance of next generation technologies such as C4 ISR and RMA in battle situations has been discussed time and again, but Ray is the first to deploy it so fully. With Ray's completion, the Marine Corps will lead the way for a new age of military tactics. This new model of Metal Gear is codenamed Ray, after the Great Manta Ray. Our Ray has a sting that nature never gave the Manta. With this latest Metal Gear, we can rule the sea and land as we never have before. It is an undeniable fact that there is a force at work in our government and within the military, seeking to control national affairs to suit its own interests. Metal Gear Ray bears the burden of confronting this party, thwarting their plans and guiding this nation back to its original path. This exercise is but a first step towards that goal. The future of the country rests with you. George Sears surrendered his presidency in the aftermath of Shadow Moses. The official reason given did not, of course, include the development of Metal Gear Rex and next-generation nuclear warheads. But even you will have heard rumors that he was forced to resign after the failed cover-up cost of his influence in the political community. Former President Sears did also act towards reducing the nuclear stockpile while nurturing the NMD concept. It was he who lowered Start 3 ceiling to tactical nuclear weapons in order to bring Russia around to approving a revision to the ABM treaty. Everyone believed the world was headed for the end of the arms race when Shadow Moses left. We, the Marines, will lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear Rain. That is all. Dismissed. Front. Up. Getting back to the topic at hand. I have a door. We have intelligence that there are anti-Metal Gear terrorists planning to target the ship. Intruder to the left! Intruder in the back! Intruder to the right! Intruder in the back! Should that actually happen, I expect you to be prepared. We cannot and will not give up Ray. Stay on your guard at all times. Let's continue. This new model of Metal Gear is codenamed Ray. Vision to the ABM tree. Everyone believed the world was headed for the end of the arms race when Shadow Moses happened. I'm on a roll here. Let's go on a little bit longer. Even though the development of Metal Gear Rex is still outside the bounds of official truth, everyone in the international military community knows the facts. The specs spread across the globe like wildfire, and the nuclear race is on again. The only thing that can reverse its course is this Metal Gear Ray. The proliferation and development of Metal Gear technology are about to render agreements like the NVT and START obsolete. 
There are also forces at work trying to exploit this disturbing trend to further their own power and influence. Your necks must be stiff by now. Time for some more stretches. Left. Down. Left. Getting back to the topic at hand. The human race is about to slide back into the endless arms race of that last century. And we cannot afford to play that Russian roulette again. The Metal Gear Ray you see is here to prevent that possibility. We will proceed out of New York Harbor and conduct top secret field testing of Ray. Shadow Moses has turned public opinion against weapons development. This training needs to stay covert. We cannot risk jeopardizing the program on the eve of its completion. The disguised oil tanker is a part of our cover. Ray is well worth all these precautions. Trust me. The National Missile Defense Program was initiated in the end of the 20th century, projected to completion in 2005. However, the NMD trial conducted in the year 2000 was a complete failure, and the success of the 1999 trials is now considered a chance happening. There was no technological solution in sight, and the program was already attracting strong criticism from Russia and China for its potential violation of the Anti-Ballistic Missile Agreement. The fact that any development in missile defense would trigger accelerated weapons development has been pointed out from the very beginning. President Sears forced the NMD proposal through and succeeded in deploying the program. Some say that it was a military interest with plans for the $100 billion program budget that actually arranged the legislative approval. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the Army's Rex, it can cruise deep underwater, move in undetected and make its landing on any shoreline. Its onboard Joint Tactical Information Distribution System identifies targets with unerring accuracy and takes them out with massive firepower. It is the ultimate weapon, and it is yours to guard. I'd like you all to think about what that means. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. We, the Marines, will lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear Ray. That is all. Dismissed. <laughs>